Hey guys, Natalie here with The Fifth Journey. We have a super busy week ahead with kid activities. We're going to be doing a flashback from when we first purchased the land and clearing it. It is absolutely amazing to see how far we have come in this short amount of time. We hope you enjoy the video of where it all started. Be sure to like and subscribe to see what we're up to next. See you soon. this? Closed. So it has been a little over a year since we bought the property. We bought it on, we closed on September 11th of 2019 and then the first day I was out here doing major work was October 8th and today is October 4th. 4th yes. Almost a year later. Yes. So we have taken a lot of videos but we haven't done anything with them. No. <laughs> so we've taken a lot of videos and hopefully there's something here and in there that will line up and we can actually get some good uh, complete videos of what we've been doing over the last year. So you can see behind us this is uh, what we'll show you where how we got to this point. Uh, we hope to kind of speed up that process yes and get you caught up but the uh, house has hit a few bumps along the road we've had a lot of changes mm -hmm. there's been a lot of changes in the world in general which mm -hmm. has caused us to change directions and um, quite a few times yep. yes quite a few times yeah. But we're getting there. We're getting it's, there. Uh, we keep saying we're going to be in and see our <laughs> deadlines keep getting moved back and back uh -huh. and back as things change. And uh, doing it myself has obviously been uh, harder than I thought. Yes, learning curve. We're going off grid. Um, you know, going off grid completely. We initially wanted to do something like that, but that wasn't the original idea. It was an eventual goal, but that was something that we have had to do and are doing now. That was a big change. So that really changed a lot of the floor plans, the ideas of trying to the, the whole thing, and that'll make sense later on. Um, trying to fit everything yeah. together. Yes, yes. The so situations change. We've had to change our plans to. I wouldn't say the, well, I guess it's pretty extreme in <laughs> it some, pretty extreme, in some yeah. cases, but um, overall it's turned out pretty good. Yes. Yeah. And we're getting there. We're getting there. So we are a year later, and uh, this month's going to be really big as we have a lot of big changes happening in the house. That's all going to come together at once. Yes. Um, so this month is going to be really rough on me. It'll be, a, yeah, it'll be a big one. <laughs> so our goal, our goal is to try to get the videos put together, put out there to get everything caught up. So it will be from October 8th of 2019, mm -hmm. um, the whole year. So we've got that whole year of everything happening, especially with world issues and, and all that going on, which everybody knows what has gone on. So yep. if you see a video and like, wait a minute, that's because it was from this, this last year. But we're going to try to get caught up so we can get to where we are now so you can see the progress of everything that we've done. And then we can catch up and go forward on this journey together. So we could have all those videos yeah. compiled, uh, hopefully we can put at least one out a week, if not two. Mm -hmm. um, now that I get us caught up fairly quickly where we are now. Yes. And then by that time, hopefully, it will be nice, is by the time you guys are caught up, we'll be in the house. <laughs> Another lofty goal that probably yeah. will not happen. Yeah. <laughs> so fitting cooler, nights yes. are getting down to the 40s, and we had one night was almost in the 30s. And yeah. Uh, which makes it nice working during the day because we're not drinking four gallons of water a day when it was a hundred and something. The summer was rough. The summer. the summer was really rough. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you need to get yes. work on the videos. I know. I know. So you know we're we the roof the shingles have been put on. We have that point so we can get the solar going. Uh, so solar, um, rainwater collection for water. Um, so right now everything that we have been doing for the last year has been brought in. We have no electricity out here. We have no water out here just to kind of give you an idea of what we've been doing. Uh, Tim's been out here every day. The girls and I'll be out here as much, have been out here as much as we can. Now the school started, uh, that's a whole other story. So the girls are out and I are out here on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And like I said, Tim's out here every day. So without further ado, we will end this and you guys can see the video from a year ago. All right, thank you. Okay, this is not day one, but I've decided to go ahead and do a little, uh, video on the property we just bought. This is 158.25 acres, basically 160. Um, cleaning up where our house is going to go. Um, working on the tractor and just broke it again. See right 
there. So I've already had a flat tire, I've uh, broken my gearbox, and now my uh, U joint just came off. Anyways, joys of being a landowner, I guess. Anyways, we first bought this, this field was about seven feet tall. You couldn't even walk through it. We couldn't even get a real idea of how the, the flow went. We knew we wanted to put a pond down in here, though. So the actual road wraps around around this tree line, comes back up, back in there, and around through those trees. And actually in here is an old uh, farmstead. I'll walk around and show you real quick. This mess back in here was the old house. This was the basement. This old stone foundation. And they've been pushing junk in here for who knows how long. The house actually was moved off the land and was relocated about a mile and a half away. And it's a very traditional little square farmhouse. But now we're messed with left with this. So my goal is to get out here at some point once I get all these all the brush cleared out and all the trees taken out that we want gone is to get out here and um, clean out as much of this metal as possible and go recycle it. Um, save as much of the rock as we can. There's a lot of rock. I mean it's a rock foundation. And then um, push the rest in and smooth it out. I don't think our house is actually going to sit on top of the old site. Now that I'm getting things cleared out and can see it better I think it will be out towards that field over there a little more but brush hogging in Kansas is always fun there's an old truck frame that I hit and then had to dig out I'll be recycling that too we're recycling as much as we can um, there's a lot of catalpa trees and I hate catalpa trees and I'll show you why when they get big do this. They hollow out and then they fall apart or they just die. So that is a very old hollowed out catalpa tree. Now I also do bees. I uh, have a couple hives. So on a positive note, bees love catalpa trees because they're so easy to get inside. And I have had a few uh, bees on me today as I've been brush hogging. But they also die, like that. There's another dead one over there I get a cut down. So, a lot of work there. The other thing I'm cleaning out is what's called a locust. And that is locust thorn. And it hurts. And it gives you lots of flat tires. And the other obstacle, there's some more of that. That's um, these barbs can get to be, I mean, the size of your arm, just massive thorns. There's also a lot of hedge out here. These are the thorns on the hedge. They're usually about you know, an inch max, usually about half inch, three quarters of an inch. And right next to you get locust. This is a baby locust, but still that's a two inch long thorn right there. Another thing we're finding that's fun as we're walking around the old homestead is back over in here we found a rock wall. Um, very old, it's a couple feet high and uh, maybe about 200 feet long. Our driveway will come up that path 
all the trees on this side will most likely come out except I can find a few select ones to keep and a lot of the brush on this side will come out so we have plenty of room to drive up in here. And see, this one is also right through your feet. There is also poison ivy, which I am highly allergic to. I get that, it gets, start, gets my bloodstream and starts breaking out. There, there. So anyways, that's the beginning video for our project. A pond out there, a yard that goes to get nice yard down to the pond. This is facing west, so we should get some beautiful uh, sunsets, we hope. As we clear all of this stuff out and thin the trees on the back side of the old road that I just walked down, we're hoping to get some nice uh, sunrises peeking through the trees as well. Oh, there goes a deer. Man, that guy must have been just... I just mowed through here. Can you see him? He's staring at me. Look at that. Little baby. First year. That's crazy. I literally just mowed right in there when my uh, uh, brush hog broke. And that little guy was just laying here the whole time. <laughs> I might have probably mowed, almost mowed right over him. Crazy. That's a big hedge. Anyways, I totally forgot what I was talking about now. Um, pond, yard, pond, sunsets, beautiful. Thank you.